Hi, my name is Eric Lehman, and I'm one of the rhino keepers here at the Audubon Zoo. We'd like to introduce you to Saba. Saba's our male rhino. He's about 17 years old, weighs in at just around 6,000 pounds. So he's a, it's basically a truck with a horn on it. Now here at the Audubon Zoo, we have three rhinos. We have one male and two females, and they are southern white rhinos from the southern part of Africa. Now southern white rhinos are the only one of the five rhino species that are actually considered a grazer. Which is going to be the, uh, mean that they're very similar to that of a cow. They're going to walk around eating grass most of the time. Now all of your other species of rhinos are known as a browser. Which would be something that would eat leaves and other stuff like this off of bushes and things of that nature. Now southern white rhinos are the largest member of the rhino, uh, of the rhino family. The males, like I said before, weigh in at around 6,000 pounds. The females about 4,500 pounds. Now uh, of the two African species, uh, the way you can tell the two African species, I mean, from the three Asian species, is by the number of horns that they have. Both of your African species are going to have two horns, whereas the three Asian species are going to have one. Now, the different species other than the southern whites are also going to be your black rhinos coming from Africa. Then you're going to have your Sumatran rhinos coming from the island of Sumatra. And you're going to have your greater one horn rhino, which is found in Nepal and India, as well as the Javan rhino found on the Javan island uh, in uh, Indonesia. Now rhinos, uh, for, for you mothers out there, be happy. Rhinos gestation is actually gonna be about 16 to 18 months. So thank goodness human beings don't have to uh, carry a baby that long. When their babies are born, they're gonna be born in at around 150 pounds and they're gonna grow quite rapidly, staying with mom for a couple of years. Now rhinos, uh, the reason rhinos are being hurt in the wild is because of the false belief that their horns actually could possess medicinal powers. Well actually, all their horns really are is a modified hair or keratin, much like that of your fingernail. So if that was the case, biting your fingernails would actually do uh, about the same job. But because of those beliefs in some cultures, they are poached all around the world and that's the greatest, uh, greatest effect on their numbers. Now rhinos, uh, their, their sense of sight's not all that good, but they make up for it with an excellent sense of hearing and a sense of smell. So sudden movements and stuff like that tend to spook these animals in the wild because they don't see really well. They have to rely on those other, two, uh, those other two senses that they have. Now here at the zoo, some of the things that we do for our rhinos to help them have fun is gonna be, uh, we offer enrichment like scent enrichment. We'll put stuff that smells really good like uh, peppermint or ginger out on logs for them to smell around as well as with our male we'll actually give him some of the female feces he actually likes to smell that kind of sounds gross to you or me but uh, he actually enjoys it and so we'll give him that uh, rub it around on a tire or something like that for him to play with but their favorite absolute favorite toy is definitely just large logs they like to sharpen their horns on them much like you or I would have to file and trim our fingernails that jack to keep them rubbed down and sharpened just the same way now rhinos in the wild, uh, some ways that you can help uh, protect rhinos in the wild is by going to our website at www.nolaazac.com and uh, con contributing to our Bowling for Rhinos fundraiser that we had. And all of the proceeds from that go to the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy in South Africa to directly help wild, uh, wild rhinos and uh, some of our guys' uh, past cousins. Some other things that you can do is you can definitely come by the Audubon Zoo Tuesday through Sundays and uh, take a look at these guys as well as many other animals and uh, I'd like to thank you for your time and have a great day. Oh boy. Come here, Saba.